This is a Synapse kit for the Hyundai Genesis and we are demonstrating the fact that this is the only blow-off valve that can actually respond fast enough to keep up with the factory ECU controls. We've got the line that actuates the blow-off valve connected straight to the OEM solenoid. And if you watch, what happens, we're now going to shut off the car and the ECU is going to control how the blow-off valve is actuated. It opened up because that's what the factory ECU wants to do when it's not running. And now the car started up again. The factory ECU does all of the controls. Anybody that tells you that you're supposed to go straight to vacuum with a blow-off valve on a Genesis is really just band-aiding the fact that their blow-off valve can't respond fast enough to keep up with the stock controls. Go ahead and rub it, Eric. Not too hard. Even just slight tip into the throttle, just tip into the throttle. That's full ECU control right there. That's an ECU control blow-off valve. So the factory ECU makes sure that it's not leaking any boost when it doesn't need to and applies vacuum at the right millisecond count when you let off the throttle. Go ahead and shut it off. Go key on for me, but don't start it. You're key on right now, right? Just stab the throttle. We're on key on and the factory ECU just did that, control the blow off out. Stab the throttle again. That's full ECU control. And that's some of the safety benefits that the factory's built into that blow off valve system. So don't let any other manufacturer fool you into thinking you need to bypass that. It's actually a benefit and not a harm. It's one of the first systems that have that in addition to what Ford and General Motors are doing. Um, it's a very robust system.